Antimicrobial resistance is a global threat, with low- and middle-income countries carrying the heaviest burden. ICOS, an international research organization, collaborates with those countries to co-develop tailored solutions aligned with their national action plans on AMR. An example is ICAR's partnership with Zambia. Zambia, a nation in Southern Africa with a rapidly expanding healthcare system. But there's been a looming problem, the inappropriate and excessive use of antibiotics. It wasn't surprising in the past to find a patient on three antibiotics when they needed one. Yeah, and uh, that's a cost first to, to the hospital, but also puts the patient at unnecessary risk as well. That has led to cases of antimicrobial resistance, but the country is taking the lead in dealing with the problem. And we have seen a significant reduction, largely I think due to awareness uh, that not every patient needs an antibiotic, and uh, also uh, the use of laboratory uh, information and uh, the kind of antibiotics. Health centers countrywide are now adopting evidence-based guidelines for prescribing and administering antimicrobials. Antibiotic resistant infections remain one of the biggest global challenges, a challenge that affects safe and effective healthcare delivery. While health personnel say there's been improvements in the treatment methods, there is still work to do. Zambia has adopted the One Health approach, which aims to optimize the health of people and animals. The approach has been effective in tackling antibiotic misuse. The country's National Action Plan on Antibiotic Misuse has been supported by the International Center for Antimicrobial Resistance Solutions, ICAS. Can you explain to me the unique model of uh, ICAS and uh, why it is very important? At ICAS, we partner with lower and middle income countries, collaborating with ministries, research institutions and communities to create this context specific cost effective solution to tackle AMR in human, animal, environmental and agri-food sectors. We generate this much needed evidence in real life settings and uh, we are confident that these solutions will be sustainable and scalable and help in implementing national action plans across the world. And those solutions extend from the hospitals to the farms. Priska Njovo, when not tending to the chicks, is taking lessons on more rational and appropriate use of antibiotics to treat her chickens. I was in farm school. I was in farm school. I was in farm Not using my antibiotics and my boosters. I was in farm school. Using my natural ways, the ICAS supported projects continue to test solutions, generating evidence on what can work, and that will facilitate advice for national action plans on antibiotic use on farms. We hope that the impact will be very positive, that we will have the farmers using less antibiotics. Um, farmers using them only when it's absolutely necessary, farmers observing what we call the withdrawal period, so that the, when the chickens get on the market, they don't have any antibiotics in their system. The World Health Organization states that in order to prevent up to 10 million deaths worldwide annually by 2050, immediate action must be taken to address antibiotic resistance in sub-Saharan African countries like Zambia, among the many globally affected. Action to address antimicrobial resistance is critical in order to save lives and money, both in the hospitals and farms. ICAS believes that by employing their unique model of partnering with low- and middle-income countries, feasible solutions can be implemented to mitigate the effects of antimicrobial resistance locally, regionally and globally.